What's up, you guys? My name is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Just saying. Um, I got a channel message in, so I decided to do this reading. I'm not going to do the, do the daily tea today, just to let everybody know. Um, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages to resonate. So the channel message I received was, Someone's about to start getting a lot of frenemies. Come back. Beware. Um, they won't. They want what you have. I heard for some, they want to steal your spiritual gifts. Some, they want to steal your uh, energy. Some, they want to steal your money. So you plug it in. How that resonates? If that resonates for you. So um, for some of you guys, you have to plug it in. How it resonates? For some, it could resonate. For some, not. But somebody's about to start getting a lot of, I heard specifically frenemies. Now, for anybody who doesn't know, frenemies are basically somebody that acts like your friend, but they're not true, loyal, honest, respectful, etc., etc., etc. So they act like they're your true friend, but they're really not. It's a huge false mask energy, huge. Um, for some, I heard they want to steal your time. I'm sorry, your energy. Some your energy. So I think they're sick or they are fatigued, or they are depressed, or something of that nature, because you have good energy. You're not depressed. You're not sick. You're not down. You have good energy. They know you do. So they want to steal your energy for some, some your money. So that's obvious. And um, what was the other one? Ah, ah. Um, hold on. Some your energy, some your money. I think the other one was time. I think. You'll have to go back and check it. I can't remember the other one. Um, but, oh, your spiritual gifts. Your spiritual gifts. So for some your energy, we went over that one. Some your money, that's obvious. For some your spiritual gifts. So you're, you're, you are gifted. You have the clairs in some shape, form, or fashion. So um, clear audience, clairvoyance, clairsentience, um, psychic medium abilities, dreamscape abilities. And there's also a... Sense of smell, Claire, I can't remember the name for that one. Um, you can have one of those, all of those, but you have the Claire's. They know you are. They know you're gifted. Uh, for some, I could feel they know you were gifted for a while, um, but they want what you have, whether it's your spiritual gifts, your energy, or your money. Um, and for some, I feel it's going to be a lot of people, a lot of people. So um, for some, it might just be one, but you have to plug it in how it resonates. I would suggest putting boundaries up um, to protect yourself um, because whoever you are, you're doing well right now or you're starting to do well right now. And people know this. They know this. Um, and I just want to put out this food for thought. If they truly, truly, truly cared about you, they would have helped you get through your hard times. They would not have left you to flounder like a little fish out of water. And then come back when the going is good. That's true frenemy energy. For some, it could be family members. I heard frenemies, but it could be a frenemy that's in your family for some. Um, and I'm serious about that. So I would just be careful. You have resilience on the bottom of the deck. You're very resilient. I feel they left you out in the cold and now they want to come back. Boundaries would be a very smart idea. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, I heard they left you out in the cold, basically to, to flounder like a fish. They could care less when you wasn't doing well. Um, they didn't want to help you when the going was rough. And for some of these, uh, you guys, I feel you helped them when they were down. I feel you helped them when they were down. And now they want to basically just take from you. They're complete narcissistic energy, whoever these people are. They're complete narcissistic energy. Or from spirit, it'd be smart to put boundaries up. So not answering calls, not answering texts, not answering the door. Um, that kind of thing is what I'm feeling. But, of course, everybody has free will. Third time down there. Resilience. You're very resilient. You're like a rubber band. You bounce back. You're smart. You're, in, um, you're creative. You are... Um, you are good with money, um, you're intelligent, whoever you are. Someone, for one person, someone knows you're working on something 
in secret. They want to find out what it is. Okay, unexpected. I heard for well, at least one of you guys, um, you're working, somebody knows you're working on something in secret. So they know you're working on something in secret. So um, you're doing it behind, you're not telling nobody. You're not telling the public. You're not telling anybody. They know you're working on it in secret. They want to come around you to find out what the hell it is. Of course they do. Of course they do. So unexpected series of chain events. I think somebody's about to get a lot of phone calls. I think they're about to get a lot of communication. They're about to get a lot of messenger communication. Um, for some, you might have people showing up at your doorstep. Um, if you feel like you need to call the police, I would suggest doing that. Of course, everybody use your own logic, reasoning, intuition, and judgment. If they, if you ask them to leave and they leave peacefully, then they leave peacefully. If you ask them to leave off your property, they do not leave. That might possibly warrant a police call, but you plug it in how it resonates. Everybody use your own logic, reasoning, intuition, and judgment. So unexpected is unexpected series of chain events. I think it's all these people going to try to come back. Um, I feel for some, um, they tried to play you. I think they tried to play you in the past and it's not working. Now they're getting played. So they want to come back now. I feel for some, something really, really serious happened to you and they didn't help you. And I'm serious about that. Now they want to come back. Now, for for one, there's going to be one very specific person. For one, some it's a coworker, current coworker. They want to be honest with you. Air sign energy. You intuitively know who this person is. This is a very safe person to let in. Know this. Okay. Okay. So you plug it in how it resonates. Okay. So for one of you guys, I heard there's a very specific current coworker I heard. So current coworker, you currently work for this person. Um, now you might work side by side with this person. You might just fleetingly see this person. You might work different shifts. You might work the same shift, but they work, I think in your same facility, site, company, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But they work currently in the same company, site, location, facility, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, that you work in now. I heard they are air sign. It could be a masculine or a feminine air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. They could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Moon, and Hammer, Jupiter. But I heard they want to come back and tell you the truth. All of it, all of it, all of it. Okay, I heard all of it. So I want to tell you all of it, all of it, all of it, all of it. Um, I heard it's very, it's, it's safe to uh, trust this person. I heard you intuitively know who it is. So, um, for some, you could be the air sign going to come back to somebody and tell somebody the whole, whole, whole truth because energies can be reversed. Or you could be the person that you intuitively know this air sign is safe to trust and you currently work with them. Energies can be reversed. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit, whether you're the air sign about to come back to somebody and be completely, completely, completely honest and you're very trustworthy, honorable, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Or you were the person, the air sign's about to come to. These people work together, I'll tell you that. So, unexpected. That is an unexpected series of chain events for that situation. Of course, it could be any unexpected series of chain events in your own life. However, that resonates for you. We have attraction on the bottom of the deck. So, I think this air sign is attracted, this current coworker air sign, masculine or femme, current coworker air sign, where you're, whether you are the current coworker air sign or you're the person. That current coworker air sign is going to come forward soon. They're attracted to you. For some, it could be sexual attraction or physical attraction, but I don't feel it is. I feel it is attracted to the situation to tell the truth. I feel this is attraction energy for this air sign about to come tell you the truth. Um, is what I'm feeling. And they could just be attracted to um maybe the positivity that you put out in the universe. I don't feel it's sexual attraction in this situation. I really don't. I don't. And we have hunger reverse. So I don't feel they like want you like weird, like a real weird sexual fetish or something. I feel they um, are attracted to information to give you, but you plug it in how it resonates. All right, spirit messages you have to play. Blossoming, fear reverse, release reversed. Yeah. I think they see you blossoming and they're not scared to come tell you the truth. It's a current air sign coworker, or you could be the current air sign coworker and then release reversed. They do not want to let you go. 
I feel for some of you guys, this air sign knows you're about to quit or they know you're not going to work very often or they know they're not going to see you very often and they want to open up a means of um, communication with you outside of the workspace um, or they're going to give you some very important information where you can quit, possibly for some. Um, but I don't feel they see you very often in the workplace is what I'm saying. They see you blossoming, they see you growing, they see you manifesting yourself. Um, they see potential there, and um, I think they want to even the playing fields by giving you some, uh, I heard they're going to be very, very honest with you. So I think they're about to give you some groundbreaking information is what I think. They're not scared to do it, or they're about to not be scared to do it. I think they were scared in the past, but they're not scared anymore. Release, reverse, they do not want to let you go. I think they value you as a person. I think they want to connect with you outside of the workspace. And um, that's exactly what I think. Let me see if I hear anything else. Huge changes coming here. This is going to be game changer for you in this air sign. Okay, I heard huge changes coming here. This is going to be a game changer for you in this air sign. So this air sign has some very important information. I think whatever they're about to tell you is about to be freaking groundbreaking, man. It's going to help you. It's a current co-worker air sign. Um, I think it's going to lead to abundance to you for you in this air sign um, or abundance for you. If it leads to abundance for you, maybe you pay it forward to the air sign um, because they have revealed um some very important information i think they were fearful in the past to tell you i don't they aren't now though their energetic space now showing up they're not fearful to tell you now um that's exactly what i'm thinking spirit messages you have reflected boundaries yeah I heard in here earlier to set your boundaries around all these other crazy people because for some of you guys, a ton of freaking people is going to try to come back soon. A ton of frenemy energy. But this air sign is not a frenemy. They most certainly are not. And they're about to prove it to you in a huge way. Okay, I heard they most certainly are not and they're about to prove it to you in a huge way. So this air sign, masculine or femme, current coworker is not a frenemy. I heard from spirit they're not. Um, and you could be the current co-worker air sign. You have to play yourself in where you fit. But I heard they're about to prove it to you. So they're about to prove it to you that they're not a friend of me. Um, and they're not scared anymore. I feel they were in the past. Boundaries upright, I think, is to place boundaries against all the other people about to try to come back. Because somebody is about to have a ton of people come back. But basically using your own logic and intuition, block out the people you feel need to be blocked out. Keep the people you feel need to be kept. Use your own discernment. Use your boundaries. Number 33, 11, 27, or 12 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 33, 11, 27, or 12. These could be significant ages of children, possibly. We have an 11 and 12, possible age of your child or somebody you're connected to's child. 33 or 27 could be possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to. Also, these could be possible date of birth number, social security card number, green card number, lottery number, jersey number, etc., etc., etc. 33, 27, 11, and 12. Let me see if I hear anything else. This air sign is about to help blow it all to hell. Help you blow it all to hell. Power team energy. Oh my God. Whoa. Okay. Some power team energy in here. Now I didn't hear power couple. So this isn't like, um, you know, going to be together like romantically. This is like teamwork energy. Like teamwork makes the dream work energy. Um, our power team. So this person, they're on your side. They're on your side in a true loyal manner. Not these other frenemy energies that you need to put boundaries up for. But the one air sign is a true loyal person, but you're highly intuitive, whoever you are. I heard you know it. You already know they are inside yourself. You know inside yourself they are. Um, but I think you're waiting for them to prove it to you. Exactly what I think. And I heard they're about to. 
So, um, but the air sign I feel is very highly intuitive too. And I think they know they need to prove it to you too. And I, I, I heard they're about to, and it's going to create a power team energy. You and them are both very powerful. You and them separately, you're very powerful individuals. It sounds like you're about to collaborate or you're about to connect outside work. I feel you have not connected outside of work yet, but you're about to. Um, conversation or maybe it's a coffee at Starbucks or uh, maybe it's, I don't know, a salad at Zaxby's or what have you, but or um, some, something else. But it's some kind of connection energy outside of work, I'm feeling. And it's going to create power team energy in a healthy, copacetic way is what I'm feeling. But... This, I heard in here, you needed to create boundaries for, it'd be smart to create boundaries with the other frenemy ener energies because they're going to try to come back too. So, boundaries for those buttheads, just saying. All right, you guys, we're done. I love you guys. Hope this helped. Namaste.